show you how to use VU, a completely free plugin pack for After Effects, Final Cut Pro, and Motion to generate VU and EQ animations from the audio in your project. In After Effects, just add a layer with audio to your project. Now go to Freeview Mask, to the audio. Now add a new solid layer to our project. Resize it to the size and position we want. Now add the VU VU Analog plugin. Just change the to correct audio input on that. Change the gain. Change the background type, and then preview that. Now we're going to add a second plugin to the project. Add another solid, resize it, and reposition it where we want. Now add the Core Melt EQ 6 way plugin to the project. Change to the correct audio layer source. Now let's just change some of the settings and the bar type to make it look more interesting. Change the texture, change the blend mode on the layer to screen, and then change it at different texture again. Now preview this. If you prefer, you can also use manual input controls for all the VU plugins. Just go to the input type and change it from audio layer to manual inputs. Then go to the EQ manual parameters. You can either keyframe animate them, or for advanced users, you can use motion maths or expressions to connect them to the audio in any way you want by using the convert audio to keyframes under keyframe assistant. In motion, we have to follow a slightly different procedure. Let's add the VU analog plugin, resize and reposition it, then go to the properties for that generator, add an audio behavior to the manual peak parameter, choose which layer gives you the source, and then assign which frequencies apply to that audio behavior. If you want to use the EQ six way plugin inside motion, we have to assign a different audio behavior for each of the six inputs that control the EQ bars in this animation effect. This is going to show you how we do it. First one here, choose which layer it takes the audio from, narrow it down to a specific frequency band, and then do the same thing again for each of the other inputs on the plugin. So here's number two. Narrow it down to the frequency band you want, this is with two frequencies applied, and now we're going to skip and show you with all six frequencies applied. This is the EQ Tower Cities plugin. We can control the 3D position of this in two different ways. Firstly, just by using the controls which are built into the plugin to change the camera position. Or we can say use motion camera, and then add a 3D camera to the motion scene, choose keep as 2D. Now let's just add another text layer so we can see that they both react together. So I put some text in the scene, position it in 3D space, then click on the camera properties, and move the camera, you'll see the text and the generator effect are moving together. So now let's do an animation on that. So we jump back to the first frame, turn on auto keyframing, keyframe it on the last frame, there we go. Just position it up a bit. Now play the animation we've just made. 